Hello everyone, welcome to your reading for July 2019. It's summertime! Yes, it's summertime here where I am. So I'm really excited because I love July. It's my month, my birthday month also. So I do have the Tarot Apocalypses to give away. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. I mean, it's amazing. Just uh, all the cultures and the religions all together is so versatile. It's just amazing. So I'm really excited to do the readings this month with this deck. And I'm also giving you a chance to win one of, um, one of these decks. So do comment if you want to win. Leave me a comment letting me know that you want to enter the giveaway, the competition, and I will be announcing the winner and choosing from the comment section. So for personal readings, you can go straight to my website. Up until, uh, until the end of the month of June, I have a sale on the Bring Back X, the Love and Career Reading, and also the Love Triangle. I think there's another one that is on sale. <clears throat> So if you really want to get a personal reading, this is the right time to do so and get that discount price. Also, you um, can go to my meditation channel and subscribe. Everything is in the description below this video. You have meditations, guided meditations, and also uh, binaural beats if you enjoy meditating. Okay, so thank you so much. And let's begin with your sign. Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading and it's for July. Happy birthday Cancer. Happy, happy birthday. Hope you have a great one and it's a new year for us. Okay, let's see what's in store for Cancer in July 2019. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'm going to begin with this, you see, new, new year, new vitality, blossom, things are really blossoming in your life, you are shining, new energy here, feeling, feeling good about yourself, ooh, and things are moving in love, look, things are about to really move in in the love department. Okay, let's see. Cancer. Let's use this beautiful tarot apocalypsis. Cancer July 2019. Oh, there's a King of Swords with the Empress. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strong Libra energy. Okay. Six of Cups. Someone from your past. In the past. They're in the past. Okay. They're not happy to be in the past because they're reversed. So they haven't spoke to you. Or communication um, was vague. Things are moving and blossoming. Ten of Wands. Well, the load is going to be shared now because it's reversed. But I think you need, there's things that haven't, this was a difficult situation, difficult relationship that is like never ending. Releasing the, completing this cycle, completing this cycle with this person. So it hasn't really, completed yet. The Empress is also here crossing you to telling you to take care of yourself, put yourself first. Don't um, be overly um, sensitive with others' feelings and put your feelings here first. Be more logical, not um, cold-hearted. But maybe just a little bit, you know. Cold is not cold for cancer. So you can be a little bit cold. All right. Um, and definitely here, put yourself first because 
the five of wands. Wow, someone wants conflict to end with you. Someone really wants... Uh, even the competition there were before between you two, I feel it was quite a competitive relationship. Or other people were involved, especially fire signs, Leo Sag, Aries, maybe someone of that, of a fire sign was involved or um, created a lot of conflict. Cancer. You've got judgment in reverse, so you don't really, you or them, they don't really want a second chance or unable to really put to rest that situation. Yeah, the high priestess is telling you to let's talk, let's talk. So you see yourself as the high priestess, so you need to really talk less in this situation because if they are, I feel that they're doing the same. So if they're not talking, don't talk back. You're feeling like uh, emotionally that you've missed an opportunity to have some stability. And it could be the beginning that was making you feel secure. You could feel that um, or have fears that that will go, uh, you know, will go wrong. And you will miss this. But it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We've got the Prince of Wands in the outcome. So this is someone, okay. Could be of a Scorpio, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Aries. But the Prince of Wands is taking action. A new that new vitality, okay? Putting an end to what wasn't working and make it right. Okay, with the death cards. It could be that you're leaving something behind, a relationship and starting a completely new one and moving uh, is moving really fast. And it could be with someone younger than you, a fire sign or a Scorpio. Okay, it could be a new person coming into your life also of those signs. But you definitely, there's endings for you to move in the direction of love. But something needs to give. Okay, what's this judgment reversed? The Cancer. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's the right time here to, you know, make that decision. Make a final decision, releasing. It's like you're being born again with the death card and the judgment. But you're putting... You may uh, feel torn between, um, between two. But there is definitely something really special happening here. This new beginning is very special. Very special. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed. So you really had the bad relationship or never had the commitment from someone that it's of a, especially Libra, with the Empress here. Yeah, four wands again, uh, four pentacles. Okay. Um, needing to let go of that bad relationship, that bad romance. And things are moving for you and looking very good. It could be that it's the same relationship, but there's a new vitality. But I'm feeling more there is someone completely new that's going to really rock your world here. And it's going to give you the love that you that you want it. Clarify the five of wands. Ooh. You see the three of pentacles is like working together now, not against each other. So you have someone that wants to work with you now. Okay. The ten of wands is reversed. Queen of wands. 
So you, you have more time for yourself, you're feeling good, you're feeling sexy because the Queen of Wands is, you know, she's uh, feeling herself. Look at, look at her here. And um, I think this person is noticing you. You see how he's looking at her? He or she, you know, it's value. They're giving you, they, they appreciating you. They're appreciating you. Some of you are going to receive some a pair of shoes, really nice shoes, really nice pair of shoes. Ooh, I want a pair of shoes. Seven of Swords reversed. Yeah, this is in the past. It's like they have their back, to, you know, their back, um, back to back. And they couldn't, I don't think that you couldn't work it out in the past and, and understand each other. You were both disappointed with not being able to connect on, on a level where you could really make this special move. The High Priestess, the Nine of Swords. So you see, you're letting go of the anxiety and the fear and you know better because the High Priestess, she knows, she does know better. And silence is key. So you don't say the wrong thing as well. I mean, I'm not saying don't say nothing at all, but just say what is necessary. Five of Swords reverse. So yeah, again, they look at you with the Queen of Pentacles is reversed. Okay. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They uh, may feel that you that you're not sure about ending the conflict, Three of Swords, because you're heartbroken still. That's how they may feel or they see you as you're still heartbroken. So emotionally, don't let it... Um, King of Swords. You may be hoping for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you've lost that relationship in the past. There could be even a pregnancy or, you know, some of you even, um, you had a baby or you wanted to get pregnant and it didn't happen. Okay. And, or if you had the baby, this person doesn't really give money because the ace of pentacles is reversed. They don't give any support, especially financial support towards a child. Or they really wanted to, they were fearful about even having a baby because of finances. Prince of Wands and the Death card for Cancer, Outcome. Ooh, the sun is bright. Oh yeah, so some of you is a Leo, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles, things moving slowly but surely. Okay, take it slow, take it slow, take it slow, mm -hmm. yeah, take it slow, yeah, there's a lot of passion, Sagittarius energy, a lot of passion, there's two nights, some of you need to decide, between an earth sign and a fire sign. Okay. There's lack of clarity, Cancer. Some of you are really not sure because, um, and others it's because you haven't communicated with them in a long time. 
And there's silent treatment here for you. He was happy even though the problems of connecting is was communication was communication problems in communicating let's see i think things are really moving now and it's the chance for transformation transforming with a new new vitality here with the prince of wands is a new vitality new um Doing things differently, okay, in a new way, new way of doing things. So you have changed a lot since. And if it's just someone that is new, you know, you actually dealing with relationships in a different way now because you are transforming, you are changing in a in a positive way. It looks like it. Do take it slow on that intimacy, okay? Ooh. <laughs> wow, marriage. Some of you getting married. Is you finding a marriage partner? Marriage partner coming in. Money and children. Okay. Maybe you have money and children already. With someone that is going to help you with your children, um, you know, providing, even if it's not their own. Okay. The ones that have this um, short term flings with someone that's already married, the energy is there, and that's why it's telling you to, you know, if you want things to move, you need to change. The tune, right? You need to change the way you you get involved with them. Okay, your attitude. Okay, someone, some of you have this um, new business, even new business, and your work is really paying off. I do see a courting man, someone in your workplace, or could come through um, communicating through the through their work. So I do see online, okay. Some of you work online, or they, you know, have their profile online. I'm, I'm picking up LinkedIn and even Instagram and stuff like that. They work, their work. The obstacle. It's the young female from a past life. Okay, so some of you, you were younger. You were younger when um, you've dated. And others of you, like I said, I do see um, someone has a new love. Someone has someone new. And that's why it's an open relationship. It's like if you are in a relationship with family and children to this person and trying to really move things in the right direction, um, there is someone new. This person is not taking it very seriously with you. There's someone new in their life. That's why the three here crowning. Three of Pentacles. And this Prince of Wands could be this Scorpio or this uh, Leo Sag Aries that. That's why the two knights. That has stability with some with one of you and has a passionate connection with another it's time to really take control of this uh, situation cancer 
and move things where you want them to go with the information and messages that you're getting and will be getting because it's telling you to to uh, be aware okay be aware of anyone that's trying to hide also secrets from you or if you're hiding from someone just be aware because the empress could be um, the king of swords keeping you as king of swords gemini libra aquarius keeping you as a third party in their life or he has someone that is not telling you about all right so i do see some of you will start a fling have a fling this july with someone that um could be a player okay i did take this so yeah happy birthday again cancer and thank you so much all the best bye bye